probably gonna be getting kind of Hellions, or or he's gonna be swapping the um the starport out for the um te uh, factory, and pumping out a few Vikings or um or medevacs. <laughs> Jade up continually warping in units. Okay, here, so you see, you see that um, the Terran player continuously has map control. This is pretty much a key thing on this map. The um, map is so big that if you can, if you can get control, as you can see, he has that watchtower right there. If he sees anyone, he'll, he will immediately be able to respond with all his troops located right over there. Jade up still producing void rays. Oh, and on the said, bottom. he's going for the um the high yield expansion over here, so that's that's actually and now pretty smart. Jade up is um he, researching he, he really the Protoss to, uh, air up. upgrade. Yeah, um, so yeah, basically just camping back or um hiding, turtling back in his base, warping in more units. He only has um he only this has might be a drop here after healing all these units. Yif might. Pull out a drop and go yeah, this, for the main This engines. could very well be GG because, um, okay, as you can see, there's an expansion going down right over here. He can actually, Terran player can see that. I think, okay, yeah, he's doing a drop right here. Probably gonna be taking some of them to that high yield and then some of them to the right in the back of um, his main base. So before we go into a battle, J Dub has a total of the. Seven zealots, three void void race, three stalkers, and three sentries. Okay, here you well, can see yeah. the um the Terran player saw that. But... Okay, wait, where where are those? Oh, there's. Oh, well, I'm seeing. There are. You want to drop down there? Some guys over here just seriously. Well, there's a serious battle going on here. Okay, I think trapping I think our his Terran, own zealot. Player has been ahead pretty much this whole match, right here. Um, I think this this will get held off right here. This this attack right here, both sides of the attack. But actually, you know what? Warping in more, warping in three zealots here. Yeah, he really he really needs off to these. get some more. But Yif with the freaking micro. Yeah, the, this this Voidray army is looking a little bit scary right now. Just just to the Terran player who's been focusing Void mainly on um, Marauders. But I believe, yeah, okay, he, I was just about to say he should get some Vikings, and there we go. There's some Vikings, so. So far, one Viking is on the field, and he's producing one more Viking. Yeah, um, this is, this is going to be tough for the Protoss player to recover from, especially if he loses the second Cybernetic score. And yet there's another drop down there. Yeah, okay. He he just lost he just had to cancel that cybernetic score and start all over. So that that's a little bit unfortunate. That means he won't be able to warp in um warp in anything other than um than Yif trying to push out with this army, sees three zealots, just wipes them out. And Yif's yeah, he, trying he to really expand to this high heat. I just don't understand why the Protoss player hasn't taken this um, high yield expansion right here. He really, I mean, if he if he got out maybe a few more warp gates and he got that high yield right there, he probably could have been able to do some more damage by now. The Void Ray sneaking in through the behind. Oh, that that's not a joke at all, right? It's not a. Uh, Gotta be careful. Uh, uh, if you can get this bunker right before, no. Okay, save that bunker. But as you can and the see, attack the Terran, Terran player is probably trying to secure this. Yet loses it. Refinery. Those Vikings coming for those void rays. Yeah, but the Terran player right now really what? isn't. Um, I mean, they're just. He's really ahead right now in the game. Yeah, they, he has he has a vastly superior army, and with those Vikings, and he's making two more barracks. 
Right? Yeah, with those with those um Vikings right there. There's really nothing the Protoss player can do with those void rays. You see the Vikings are sort of hunting down the void rays. And right now J Dub gets a Twilight Council right down right over there. Right over okay, there. Okay, where? In his main base. Hey! Oh right, right there. It's back. You're not okay, so that, it. yeah, that's probably gonna be he's probably going to be. And that is now. natural. He is yeah, oversaturated. Some DT. I'm gonna say because DT are sort of for catching up. Let's see what he drops down right now. What's he gonna do? Look at the. And he's still tab. constantly producing more void rays. So far, he has seven void rays, while the Terran player has ten Vikings. So wait, Alex. Um, just tell me. Tell me if um the. Protoss player does anything with that, um, that Twilight Castle, okay? Both trying to push out. This might be it. Okay, I, he's dropping down an expansion. Finally! Right yes, that expansion goes down there. Okay, I think with a little bit of micro the Vikings from this trying to move out. Player, he'll be able to do something about these Vikings. The Viking, the Vikings but trying no, to focus okay. fire. This, this is this is actually very crucial for the. This is very. Uh, yeah, this this is probably GG right here. These Marines are not going to um. You know, actually, those Marines don't take out those void rays, and it's the end. With some with some, some good player. micro here, he's probably gonna be able to do something with these Marines though. And at that same time, J Dub is continually yeah. producing those void rays. Yeah. Okay. Now. And now he gets he's Templar RT. He's going for some high Templar attack. I think that's actually the right decision here that he can make. I mean, okay. Pretty pretty much, he doesn't want to um he doesn't want to get Colossus, and that's pretty much that's the best thing against these Marines because there's simply yeah. um there's the tech required to build these Vikings right here. So. Colossus, of course, can't shoot the Vikings. So this is a very them. heavy MMM strategy oh, here. Oh, wow. Alex, did you just see that? That one dropship getting taken out right there? It was full of units. Jade, I'm going for this expansion right over here. Yeah, there's there's really nothing the Terran player can do about this right now. I think he's just going to be counterattacking because he knows the Void Rays are over here. Yif trying to go for a counter attack. Yeah, Stop this, is, this, it. Is, this is pretty crucial right here. The void so, rage. These force fields are pretty much going to decide the game because if this this expansion goes down, okay, there shouldn't have said anything. Okay, um, J Dub warping in more units right over there. Those men, those men are really, them. I mean, okay, well, I, I would never be able to do that marine micro right there. Actually, I will. I can do that marine yeah. micro. I just choose not to. Sounds better, right? And while Jada was doing those harassments and defending that expansion right over there, he upgraded Blink and Psionic Storm. Okay, wait. Does does he have Blink right now? Yes, he has Blink. Okay, so he. I think yeah, he's going to be able to do something with this. I think really, if he can. If you can move these void rays, right those there, great run. force fields come down there, dividing the units. Okay, no, this great is, this Terran is, micro there. This is a one. More stalkers warping here. in. So I guess this is GG, folks. Yeah. Okay. This is a very, very good spread out of the units. I think, really, there's something. Um, he probably should be doing some sort of drop in the back right here. High Templars, but with no energy for the psionic storm. Okay, he needs. He really needs to warp in some, uh, some guys right here, so especially like sentries or something. And 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 no no energy for that. This is this is oh, GD two archons, here. two archons right here, going down right away. Okay, that, that's GG, folks. And there's the GG. Okay. 